And sure enough, when I came to, my mind was whispering. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. And that's when it hit me. I've got a mind that's still alive. But, if you ask me, my muddle fudging brain ain't the boss of me. <laughs> How'd I end up here? Huh? Forking hell. Pardon me for asking, but this is your seventh drink, and you've only had a sip from each. Is there something the matter with them? <laughs> no, <laughs> it ain't like that. These uh, little sweet drinks taste pretty good. Ordering a bunch is just a habit of mine. No need to worry, lady. You'll know soon enough. I'm heading out to take care of some business. Uh, uh, keep these safe for me. <sighs> I get I'm supposed to be helping Rapper, but I don't. I'll ask you one last time. Do you have any taste at all? This place is useless sitting here empty, but if we put a slumber nana statue here and build a plaza, it'll instantly become a landmark of Dreamflux Reef. We'll be able to get ahead of the family again. Uh, it doesn't matter what you say. You can't just stake your claim on this place. No one's going to accept that. Then who should we listen to? Micah hasn't said anything. There's no reason to delay. I'm going to put this here today, or... Huh? Who are you? Now come off it, partner. I ain't even said anything yet. I, I don't care what beef y'all got. Just uh, make way, will you? <laughs> so what? You hired this guy to be your thug? <laughs> No, I, I, I don't know this man either. But Thugger, no, our position isn't going to change. Then I'm done playing nice. <sighs> Fork in hell. You hard of hearing or something? Do I have to let my gun do the talking? All right then. Hope you're ready to get shot. There's no need for that, sir. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. Please, put your gun away. I'm afraid that's too much excitement for those of us who have already died once. Who are you now? What kind of show are they running here? <sighs> Forget it. The world's complicated enough as it is, but my bullets will make things real simple. Act first, think later. You bet your fork and bananas I'm teaching all of you a lesson today. Huh? Wait a sec. The fudge was that? Bet your bananas? When the bananas did I start saying fudge and bananas? Bananas. Son of a banana! Oh, what the banana fudge and Sunday! <sighs> Micah, I thought you don't get involved in these matters. I'm just putting up a decoration everyone likes. I'm not hurting anybody! First, I find it hard to believe that everyone likes those monkeys. Second, I just happen to be passing by. I saw a friend and came to say hello. Friend? That's right. Though, truth be told, I don't remember your name anymore. I've met too many people over the last few years. But I still remember those eyes. This is great. Everyone can make their own dreams here. That's what you said when you first arrived. 
Your eyes gleamed with spirit. Don't forget the aspirations you once had. <sighs> Do you have to say these things out in the open? You need to fix your bad habit of lecturing people. There's a reason why things become popular. You'll understand someday. But fine. <laughs> I'll back off for today. I'll be back. Let's go. Hold on! You banana my Sunday. Oh, forget it. Guess I could afford to say less. Uh, hey, um, where are you going? Let them be. At the very least, they harbor no ill will towards you. And they certainly don't have the courage to do anything anyway. Right, Mr. Ranger? <laughs> Finally, someone sensible. I know what you want to ask. A Galaxy Ranger's gunshot rings loud and clear. And Dreamflux Reef isn't so isolated that we don't hear what's going on outside our walls. Well, it's good to know I didn't waste my shot. But, uh, gotta say, <laughs> I've seen it all now. The atmosphere here is real strange. I mean, statues of monkeys. Oh, it's just a fad among youngsters. If you ask me, it's even stranger that a Galaxy Ranger is in Dreamflux Reef. Are you here chasing evil, or settling a grudge? You don't gotta beat around the bush. Can't you just tell by looking at me? Banana Sunday. Yeah, everything's bananas. I came here to help someone, and now I'm the biggest ruckus around here. Son of a banana, just tell me what's going on with that monkey. <sighs> it wasn't that long ago, but... They arrived just as suddenly as you did. Huh? Did I miss something? Who's they? They call themselves Assistant Annas. They look like the Sweet Dreams troop, except much stranger. They came here to advertise something called the Slumbered Anna Monkey. Hmm. Maybe it's the appearance or the cultural significance, just like every other thing that was once trendy. I don't have an opinion on Slumbered Anna Monkey. The young people love it. Well, the real problem is the level of fanaticism it creates. You saw the group from before. They grew obsessed with the monkey and formed their own society. I think it's called the Slumbered Anna Association. They run publicity campaigns all across Dreamflux Reef under its banner. And they're not very friendly. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Those self-proclaimed banana maniacs just now? No one's tried to stop them? Uh, fads come and go. It's not all that unusual, even in Dreamflux Reef, so I didn't see a reason to intervene. Uh, besides... For a very long time, this was the only place in Penacony that had some freedom. Some things just shouldn't be changed. <laughs> Fine by me. If you won't deal with it, somebody else will. The Slumber Nana Association, huh? <laughs> Appreciate the tip, partner. One moment, Mr. Ranger. You haven't answered my question from earlier. Are you here chasing evil or settling a grudge? <laughs> Do I look like some kind of madman to you? The answer is both. Any more than that is none of your business. <sighs> you still worried about something? Tell you what, buddy. Go to Jesse's shop next door. There's a tab for seven drinks. Settle that. Consider my behavior here bought and paid for. Seven drinks? It may not be much, but it's still malt juice. I never break a promise to those who treat me. You can bet on that. The first time I met someone like that, I let myself get shot rather than betray him.
You're not making things easy here. You say you're a slumber and a monkey fan, but you can't even answer any of my questions. Wait, wait, I just let my mind for a moment. I think I got it. Number 20 is, is, may all see the world for what it is, an arc waxing into perfection. What nonsense are you spouting? You'd best go home for now. The events we're holding over the next few days aren't like any other. Jumping on the bandwagon isn't going to nab you an entrance ticket. <laughs> Hold it right there. Here for the Slumberdana Association event, sir. Got your membership card with you? I'll need your member ID. What the banana Sunday are you talking about? Ugh. Another bandwagoner? Exit's over there, sir. We don't welcome anyone but true fans of Slumber Nana Monkey here. Oh, listen, buddy. Don't make me repeat myself. I love me some bananas. You don't want to make things more complicated than they need to be. P put the gun down, sir. We can talk this out without going bananas. I gather you're keen on checking out the event? Well, that's fine and all. But I can't just let you in. If you're really interested, why not start off by learning more about Slumber Nana Monkey? Like that gal from just now. Gotta give a passphrase just to get through this door. No, it, it wasn't a passphrase, but an entrance test to become a member of the society. We're hosting an incredibly important event inside, after all. Everybody wants to be a part of it. <laughs> Sounds impressive. Sign me up, partner. Uh, it's a lot harder than it sounds. You won't be able to pass the test unless you're an expert on Slumber Nana Monkey. I might as well give it a shot. Gotta be easier than breaking my way in. Fine. The Slumber Nana Association is always happy to make more friends. Are you ready for the challenge? Now, which of these questions would you like to start with? My Sunday. What kind of questions are these? Uh, looks like you're completely clueless about Slumber Nana. These are pretty much no-brainers, you know. Sorry, I, but I can't let you in for now. Partner, you're in luck. If this were my own business, I'd be making my way through by other means, but... Since I'm just lending a hand, I can't go raising too much ruckus. Okay. We'll do things your way. How hard can a few questions be anyway? We run. We stride. Miss Robin! Am I singing it right? Mm-hmm. You're doing wonderfully. That reminds me. Shall I give you a checkup? You learn fast. But this is an advanced singing technique after all. It won't do if you don't take good care of your throat. Is something the matter, Miss Robin? Uh, nothing's wrong. I was just worrying too much. Everything is looking good. I can't believe I just ran into a superstar. And in a place like this, too. <laughs> it's okay. This big brother here is a good man. Why don't you go and have fun somewhere else for now? Big bother. Um, maybe I should have just kept it at Mr. Would that have been better? In any case, Mr. Boothill, it seems you put your travels on hold after that incident, too. Are you enjoying your time in Penacony? Enjoying? <laughs> More like going bananas. <laughs> Bananas. Oh, God. Just can't catch a break. Mr. Boothill, you... Uh -huh. 
Hang on. Sorry. Please keep still for a moment. What in the fork in hell are you doing? Uh. Oh. Fork? Fudge? Fudge! Holy shirt balls, I'm back to normal! I knew it. There's a noise around Mr. Boothill, too. Too? Sounds like you've encountered this before. So, what in tarnation's going on with all this bananas business? I wish I could tell you, but I still haven't figured out what it is. I've been visiting this place a lot lately, to teach the children how to sing. Giving up one's sweet dreams takes resolve. So it's my wish that music can bring them some solace. But as time passed, I started to notice something increasingly... off about the Dreamflux Reef. <laughs> Slumber Nana Monkey. As I expected. It's come to your attention, too. The Memoria nearby has been mutating ever since Slumber Nana Monkey gained popularity. Even though the noise doesn't cause any tangible impact, it leaves me feeling awfully drained every time I use the power of harmony for tuning. I can't explain it. Other than that, I also paid a visit to the Slumber Nana Association. <sighs> I swung by that place too. They let you join up. They didn't, unfortunately. Anyone who wishes to become part of the Summer Nana Association must undergo onerous entrance procedures before they can become one of them. Besides, even if I did succeed in infiltrating them, I would stand out too much. It makes more sense for me to focus on studying the noise instead. So you didn't pass the test either, huh? Well... Don't change the fact that I still gotta get in one way or another. Got any bright ideas? I can offer a few ideas on places you can make inquiries at. But why the sudden... Is something going on in Penacony? <sighs> Long story. I'll fill you in once I have more concrete details. But first... I have to pass that entrance test by hook or by crook. <laughs> Making inquiries, you say? Not a bad idea. <laughs> Heck, I, uh, why couldn't I be a fan of Slumber Nana Monkey? <laughs> Tough guys exploring their soft side are a thing these days. If all else fails, I got an easier solution to fall back on. I can just borrow a membership card from those little fudge heads scrapping over turf earlier. <laughs> Easy peasy. Welcome! Welcome! A Slumber Nana Monkey toy for you, mister! I made it myself! Don't worry, I'm not taking any money for it! Do I look like someone who'd place that monkey beside my pillow? Well, you never know. You look really cute after all. Ah, uh, you... What? Wait a minute. Am I dreaming? Are you Miss Robin? Hello? Oh my, I was just listening to your newest album. What brings you to Dreamflux Reef? I've been frequenting this place lately, actually. We just hadn't crossed paths until now. Don't worry, you'll be seeing me around these parts for a while more. After all, the Slumber Nana Association's entrance test doesn't seem that easy. The Slumber Nana Association? Are, are, are you planning on becoming a member? I must be dreaming! Two of my favorite things together! I must be the luckiest man alive! If it's you, Miss Robin, then of course we must make an exception and let you in! You don't have to give me special treatment. I'm just a normal person, 
like every other slumber nana monkey fan out there. But you know what they say, good things come in pairs! There's no harm in making a concession sometimes. Here, bring this with you the next time you head over. They'll know what to do once they see it. And don't worry, we're still playing by the book. This is just to keep them from making things difficult for you. To be honest, I am absolutely clueless when it comes to songwriting. This song was taken from somewhere else. But the first time I heard it, I knew immediately that it was the perfect song for telling Slumber Nana Monkey's story, so I wrote new lyrics for it. This is the Slumber Nana Traveler. I hope you find it appealing. <laughs> I've wandered far, I've wandered wide with Slumber Nana Monkey. Its voice so clear, its voice so bright, tells me to remember. When you're tired, take a rest, take a break, it's for the best. Life grows beautiful for those who will forfeit it all. Well, they're even singing about it now. So, uh, what's your expert opinion on this? I love it. A song finds meaning in its existence. Only when it can be sung by anyone and everyone. No matter how hard or tough an ordeal is. I can never take song away from the people. Something else? Oh, I remember you. Last minute cramming isn't going to help, you know. Don't worry. I'm a monkey expert now. About as much as I'm a master marksman. Ask away. If you say so. You're taking the Slumber Nana Association way too lightly, if you ask me. But, here goes. What tiers make up the Slumber Nana Association's membership hierarchy? Which of the following is most likely to be a famous quote by Slumber Nana Monkey? Bingo, on to the last question now. Although the Slumber Nana Association has never banned any derivative works inspired by Slumber Nana, what kind of derivative works should you refrain from creating? Exactly! That's the most despicable form of slander. Congratulations, you've passed! That was impressive. This way, sir. Let's go, partner. Time to see what those troublemakers are capable of. I'm afraid it won't be wise for us to continue our investigations together, Mr. Boothill. What do you mean? If you're hoping to keep a low profile, my presence will only be a burden, Mr. Boothill. Moreover, if you intend to employ... certain means of doing things, it'll be for the better if I'm not around. Hmm. <laughs> As expected of one in a seat of power in the family. You're a lot sharper than you let on. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. It'll be prudent for one of us to stay on the outside. <sighs> Strange. 
They're linked, but this place... I don't detect any noise here. The answer's simple. The gun may fire, but it's the bullet that does the killing. So, Mr. Boothill, I'm familiar with the Galaxy Rangers and their exploits, as well as with the entities they pursue. For you to stop here, something must be happening in Dreamflux Reef. Hey, don't be a stranger. You can just call me partner. Yeah. <sighs> monkeys, monkeys, more monkeys. They're all muddled fudging monkeys. Evil Ninja Osaru, that doggone muddle fudger. This is way too familiar, sad for comfort. Things had better not turn out the way Rappa feared they would. Gotcha. Well, I'll leave things out here to you then. Oh. Thanks for all the help so far. You're too kind. I should be thanking you instead. You have my gratitude for offering your assistance, Mr. Boothill. You live up to the name of a Galaxy Ranger, indeed. <laughs> this ain't my turf. So let me just make some things clear. I don't give a rat's behind about people doing good or evil. Whatever's about to unfold in that little club full of Sherpa brains is no different from the usual stuff I do elsewhere. Things ain't gonna be pretty. But justice will be served. And that's all I care about. I see. Then, I wish you all the best. As for me, I will try to trace the noise to its source. We'll see each other again later, Mr. Boothill. Well, fudge me. There ain't nothing strange about this place at all. These ash foals are good. <sighs> that was quick. <laughs> well, butter my banana and call me a biscuit. We kicking off the member initiation right so soon. Ah, bring it on, baby. One ninja's more than enough for this game of infiltration. Wait a... banana... Is that... me? Consequences. 